Hello again, this is Patrick Jackson and this is another Altair 8800 front panel tutorial. In this video we will be doing a port reflector, a port reflector specifically on the serial port. So whatever you type in on the keyboard will be shown back out on the screen. I'll be using my old Panasonic word processor today and let's get started. So something that's been extremely helpful for me is having the CPM manuals on hand. Now these uh, you may be able to find it on eBay, um, you know, at auction, used. Uh, I ordered, I ordered the assembly, the assembler and the ED manuals, but I got like a whole bunch of manuals. I even got the Chromico manuals and stuff like that for the Altair. So yeah, these are extremely helpful. Uh, we, will, we will be using the uh, assembler today to figure out how to do equates. Okay, so now I'm going to type out a serial program. What this will do is it will reflect what's coming into the serial port. Uh, I'll type it out and then I will break it down for you. Let's go. And that here is the serial program. Uh, let me help you break it down. So first of all, the... Oops, why did I say out? Let's fix that here. There we go, that's more like it. So first the org 00h just means the program will start at 0000. We push three to port 020 to reset it. Then we send 025 to port one so we can set it to eight data bits, one stop bit and no parity bits, standard serial stuff. Then we enter the loop. Uh, the loop starts by pulling in a character on the serial port, rotating it, and then jumping, if, and jumping back to the loop if the carry is not set. If the carry is set, that means there's something on the port. So what you do is you pull the character to the port, to the output port, then you throw it back out on the output port. And after you've done that, jump back to loop and add infinitum. Down here is the machine code for this program. This is the code that we can punch in through the front panel. If you're going to try to run this program in CPM, you would not need the first line. The first line just sets up the port. The last two lines, however, are the parts that actually do the loop. Let's print it out. And here it is, this is the program. Let's turn to the Altair and input this into the front panel. Okay, so before we start inputting data, we have to reboot the Altair 8800 because I'm using the internal VT100 terminal emulator, which means uh, the serial data will not be coming out the default port. So turning it on turns on to default port and I need to change that. So let's do that. Turn it off, first to one, hit deposit up, and boot. Okay, now, 
take a look at this program that we just made and we will input this data into the front panel. Okay, so the program is entered, and now let us run it. Hit run. And let's see what happens. Look at that. We have data coming back out. H-I-J-K-L-N. There we go. We have serial data coming back out. Now this is pretty cool, but let's try one little thing to make this a little bit more interesting. If we look through the book of manuals I got, we can find the instruction set for the 8080. And if we look, we can find the opcode to add something to the accumulator. Here we go, add immediate. So what I'm thinking is we add one to the accumulator before the character gets sent back out. And let's see what happens to the output. So what we need to do is find where the instruction is that sends the character back out. And luckily, because of this handy dandy sheet, I can tell you that the, that instruction is in fact at 020. This instruction, this is 323 is out and 020 is the port. Sorry, 021 is the port we want to throw back on. This here, 303 is jump, and this is jump immediate. So let's go to address 020, examine. I see a 323, and that is correct. Now let us change that to the opcode for ADI, immediate. That looks like it's 36. 306. So 306. We're going to deposit 306. And then let's add one. Deposit next. And then let's put the rest of this program in. So three, two, three, deposit next. O, two, one, three, O, three. And this is still intermediate. O, one, O. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Let's go back to the beginning and let's see what happens. Okay, I have it set back up. Uh, let's run it and see if this works. Oh, look at that. Uh, let's hit A, becomes B, C becomes D, E becomes F, F becomes G. Everything I type is shifted down one. So if I hit space, it no longer does space, it does exclamation point, everything is shifted off by one. It's almost like a cipher. So this is, this is pretty cool. Uh, all this, what this does is it demonstrates that once you have something in from the port, from the serial port, whatever port you want, uh, you are free to do with it however you please. And this is the basis of your programs. In fact, you could change this to some any other number. You could have this procedural. Once your data is inside the computer using the ports, 
it's up to you to figure out what to do with it. So I hope you like that little example here, a little port reflector. And I hope you take that and go do cool things with it. See you next time.